Good morning or good afternoon. My name is Pedro Andrade. I'm from University of Madeira and I'm one of the authors of the paper entitled Direct Integration Methods versus Model Superposition Methods on Predicting Staircases Vibrations. The other authors are uh, José Santos from the University of Madeira as well and also a researcher in the Institute of R&D in, Struct in Structures and Construction from the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Porto and Patricia Scorcio also from the University of Madeira. So let's begin our presentation. The abstract of this presentation is divided in the following subsections. Introduction, Objectives and Methodology, Case Study, Experimental Campaign, Direct Integration and Model Superposition, Application to an, uh, an Single Degree of Freedom, Simple Supported Beam, Application to a Multi-Degree of free Freedom, FA Staircase Model, which is the staircase, uh, the FA model of the Steel Staircase Study in this paper. Analysis of the others, the, other, the, the last two sub sections are uh, analysis of the number of vibration modes on model superposition and conclusions. The use of finite element commercial softwares for the verification of ultimate limit states in the designing of structures to static loads is relatively trivial. However, despite significant advances in numerical prediction, using FA models when designing flexib flexible staircases to be sensitive to vibrations due human walking is still a complex challenge. Here are some examples of flexible staircases or slender and lightweight monumental staircases around the world. Predicting vibration susceptibility of staircases in FEF softwares requires the use of dynamic analysis that are not yet fully developed, have some limitation and are not well understood by the majority of structural designers. So, uh, for the reasons previously described, the objective of this study is to assess which time domain numerical method, direct integration or model superposition is most suitable and should be employed when designing flexible steel staircases or flexible staircases in general. In order to accomplish this, the following procedure was employed. Experimentally measure the levels of vibration on the sample steel staircase, create a numerical model of a simple supported beam a single degree of freedom system and of the analyzed steel staircase and multi degree of freedom system, both using the analysis software SAP2000. Calculate and compare the acceleration obtained by the direct integration, model superposition, and Duhamel integral methods on the simple supported beam, a single degree of freedom system. Compare the acceleration experimentally measured and calculated by the indirect integration model superposition methods on the FEM model of the steel staircase study in this paper and multi degree of freedom system. Lastly, if like to evaluate the number of vibration modes that should be considered when applying the model superposition method to predict accurate and realistic response without losing important information. The steel staircase study in this paper is located in Funchal, Madeira, Portugal. It connects the three floors of the building with its identical four flights of steps, which you can see uh, in a scheme of it in the left figure below. And in the right is a picture of the real structure of the, the staircase. This particular staircase exhibits a high level of liveness, raising to its users discomfort and the feeling that the structure is not safe. The steel staircase was experimentally measured and 
the damping was consistently estimated to be 1.18% of the critical using the half power bandwidth method for all tests. The sample staircase has a fundamental frequency equal to 13.9 Hz. This is from the experimental measurements as well, which is lower than the cutoff frequency of 16 Hz, therefore, with the possibility of resonance effects to occur for a chance and the chance at 3.5 Hz which is the fourth sub-multiple of the fundamental frequency of the steel staircase. However, regardless of the step frequency employed, the numerical methods should yield to the same results. Therefore, walking tests were performed for step frequency more commonly used by pedestrians in their daily routines. For example, Accents at uh, 2.0 Hz. In the right figure is the um, is a, an example of the solutions of the graph acceleration's graph obtained from machines at 2.0 Hz. In order to compare the different numerical methods, in this case direct integration and model superposition, a realistic FEA model needed to be created. As this is demonstrated by the right figure, where it represented the FEA model of the steel staircase and in the left figure picture is the actual staircase. Theor theoretically, Direct integration is the more scientifically accurate method for numerically calculating acceleration, since it takes into account all the structure's vibration modes. However, according to different authors, as the number of modes increase, FEA models have a limited capacity to suc successfully predict the frequencies and model shapes of the real structure. Therefore, using direct integration to to calculate acceleration can lead to overestimated acceleration values. This can be demonstrated by the table, the following table. As you can see, the first and second variation modes were closely predicted, but as the number of modes increase, the difference between numerical and experimental values becomes higher. Therefore, the use of model superposition may be an advantage over direct integration since the structure's response will be mostly conditioned by, by low frequency modes, as these are within the range, the frequency range that is excitable by the human walking. And these low frequency modes are easily predicted. First, to compare the different numerical methods the same were applied to, to a single degree of freedom symbol supported mean in order to calculate the, its response. Since this is a single degree of freedom, we, uh, we decided to use also the Duhamel's integral uh, and this is one more method to evaluate and compare with uh, the remaining two. The numerical acceleration were obtained by the application at mid span of a ground reaction force directly measured in search for an extent at 2.0 Hz, as demonstrated by the, the figure. As you can see from the acceleration graph, the resulting acceleration did a simple supported beam with the uh, Hamel's integral, model superposition, and direct integration were virtually identical in this type of system. After evaluating the accelerations in a single degree of freedom system, direct integration and model superposition were applied to a multi-degree of freedom system or the FEA staircase model of the steady steel staircase in order to be possible to compare both methods in this type of systems or structure. The acerations were obtained by applying at step 
five and six the same ground reaction for the ground reaction force at two two point zero Earth. This was done in order to be possible to compare with to directly compare with the experimentally measured acceleration. As you can see from the acceleration graph where it's placed the the direct integrations vibrations, the model superposition vibrations and also the accelerations experimentally measured. The numerical acceleration calculated with the direct integration and model superposition in a multi-degree of freedom structure are no longer coincident. The direct integration generated overestimated accelerations, reaching values approximately twice higher than the model superposition and experimentally measured. The acceleration obtained by the model superposition are very close to the experimental accelerations during the time the two foot fault forces are applied, this being an important observation. As we have seen before, the numerical accelerations were closer to the experimentally measured accelerations when employing the model superposition method. However, using a high number of vibration modes could also lead to overestimated accelerations as the direct integration method. As we can see from the acceleration graph in the left, where the model superposition was applied employed with a hundred vibration modes as we can see the vibration the accelerations are almost twice higher than the accelerations experimentally measured and are almost identical to the accelerations with the direct integrations as we seen have seen before However, as the number of modes decreases, the solutions also decrease, getting closer to the experimental accelerations and culminating in a higher level of approximation when considering a number of vibration modes equal to 10, as we can see in the acceleration graph of the right. For a clear interpretation of the previously described, the following graph illustrates the variation of peak accelerations with the number of modes and cooperation with the experimental peak acceleration at 2.0 Hz. When comparing the numerical accelerations uh, and the numer experimental accelerations, the, the consideration of a number of vibrations modes equal to 10 seems more feasible. However, I should mention that this interval should be employed to a higher number of real star cases in order to verify, verify if this value constantly gives rise to precise response estimations. In conclusion, direct integration model superposition and dual Hamel integral generated identical responses showing that in single degree of freedom structures all three methods will yield to the same result. In a more complex multi-degree of freedom system, the solutions obtained by the direct integration were consider considerably higher than those calculated by the model superposition experimentally measures. Conversely, with the model superposition method and experimental measurements, it were obtained close results. Direct integration led to an overestimated response the staircase FEA model took into account the contribution of all vibration modes. The numerical acceleration reached values closer to the experimental when considering a number of vibration modes equal to 10. However, this interval should be tested in a wider range of real staircases and considering the staircases stiffness, mass, fundamental frequency and natural, natural frequencies lower than 16 Hertz. Due to the increasing tendency of for buildings for building flexible staircases and still the still existing limitation of FEA models to predict dynamic behavior, the model superposition is currently the less time consuming and more feasible method for design routine usage. Thank you and I'm hoping to hear from you in the near future.